So, um, what was the what was the path that led you to becoming working as a CFO? What was that path like for you? Well, I won't go back to the full detail of my entire history in terms of accounting. Um, you know, I don't want to go back to like so back in the weeds because we both start at PwC, so like I have the the background of fin- uh, public accounting. Uh, but really, what happened was it was a natural progression of working in the advisory services with you actually at uh, at McDonald Jacobs at the time. And what happened was as we were working through client services, doing advisory services, and we were we inadvertently doing CFO services at the time, actually, we just didn't call it that necessarily. I started noticing that there was uh, meeting certain clients. What would happen is that talking to them, there's certain people out there that need just a little bit more of an internal person to hold their hands or force them to do something. And that's actually one of the difficulties we had when we were working as you know an outside counsel or outside advisor is that what would happen is there might be an issue that we need to go fix but we need certain information first and just getting that information seemed impossible so that was actually the natural progression is realizing that someone needed a little bit more hand holding and a little bit more like i guess waving a stick at them to say that i needed something so that that's what happened to get me into like the cfo position um vapejet was a little bit different that was also luck where there was a morning that i was at true terpenes and i was actually there an hour early and then one of the my colleagues asked me if i want to see a demonstration and i said yeah sure i would love to see a demo and it ended up being for an auto cartridge filler and when I saw it, it's something that's really needed in the industry. And I realized that I saw something that could be a really good business. And once I actually saw the the founder of the company, I realized that this was a person who just needs some help financially and also you know, some guidance in the financial and business side of things. And we ended up meeting that weekend. And I immediately put up some, you know, we ended up talking for six hours straight. I put some money in and I offered as part of this to be an active investor. And he himself said he needed someone who was more business minded for it. And that's how I became the CFO of Vapejet as well. Ah, wow. That's, I mean, to, I mean, that's putting your money where your mouth is. I mean, you're like seriously invested, uh, not, you literally are invested, not just in terms of your time and effort, but your cash Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, and, and working with the company. Um, 